back guys jake anders here with blues rock guitar lessons y'all ready to get back into it so i assume you've already learned the intro on thick freakness by the black keys that's what we're working on and we are now getting into the verse the song is pretty much just alternating the intro riff with the verse there's a little solo but it's super simple so these two parts are the main bulk of the song okay so we just finished that intro lick right here and that's where we're going to the verse it sounds like this come in close and let's start breaking this down so you can start playing it all right so getting into the verse we just came out of this riff now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna play a open a chord kind of just an a power chord with your first finger so we only need to worry about these three strings now the way he picks, you'll, you'll have to notice how I pick this. I play the open A string and then Okay, do that, do that, do that, da. Actually the way I like to do it, I like to up strum like this. But either way is fine, down strokes are fine as well. choppy sound by releasing your pre your tension here. Don't release contact with the strings, but just release your pressure, it will cut it off. Okay, so. Now, immediately on the low E string, go. And on your middle and ring finger. So you hit the open low E string and then walk it up from the third to fourth fret on your middle and third fingers. Now go back to the same A chord and go kind of cut it off. Okay, so that part sounds like Now a big part of it is the timing, the phrasing, he really pushes the uh, when the open E string comes in, watch. Again. Cut it off, and then do this lick. On your first finger, get on the third string, right here at the second fret, pick it, and then pull it off. Fifth string, third fret. You can even kind of get a little bit. Now we put this together with the chord part. It goes.
second time it doesn't do the, the little single note riff. Right there it goes into the D chord change, okay? So he's playing kind of over a D chord position down here. Now I want you to put your middle finger on the third string second fret. And I want you to strum both these strings together, the open D and that note there. Kind of get a fuller sound, and then we're going to do this. If you can, allow the D string to continue to ring out so it sounds real full. Here on the second string, first finger, and then hammer onto your ring finger. So you have to pick this note twice. Come back here. Now, with that finger still down, I'm going to hammer my middle finger onto the third string. When I do it, I'm going to go. So I hammer it, pick the second string, and come back to the third string. And finally, I'm going to reach up here on my ring finger at the fifth string and go. So go to the open D string. So that whole riff over the D chord chain sounds like. Once again. So that's the first half of it. And he kind of answers that by playing these two notes again. So just like the other one started. But then bring your ring finger to the first string, third fret, and then play in the first string open. Now come to the second string, ring finger, third fret, and we're gonna bend this. fourth pattern position for the key of A, okay? The fourth minor pentatonic box, okay? Which looks like this. This position is open here, but it would look like this. So it's that fourth box down low here. That's where we're playing all this. So, that part where we answer the D sounds like... together on the D chord change. And then you go back to the full A part. change part. Just like that. 
All right, so at the end of that one, now we're gonna kind of play over the E chord change. I'm gonna go. Like I'm walking back to an E. But I'm gonna bring my ring finger down here, second string, third fret, and I'm gonna slide it up to the fifth, fifth fret. I'm in this box now. I'm going to strum the open E string with it. And then come back to my first finger. So I put that together, it sounds like. Once again, so we just count, come out of. I'm just going to hammer it. And then bring my ring finger down at the second string. Bend it up and do this. Okay, now that's where it goes back to the intro riff. All right, so let me play through that whole thing slowly. Sounds like this. Actually, the whole thing is pretty slow, so we're just gonna do it at a medium tempo. So we've just come out of.
learning this song. Thick Freakness by the Black Keys. Put this verse together with the intro riff and alternate them, listen to the song, get an idea of the order they go in and have fun with this guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would, please subscribe to the channel. Come check back here for more blues and rock guitar video lessons. And please come see me at bluesrockguitarlessons.com. I break down all kind of classic blues and rock songs, break them down verse by verse, individual licks, in-depth, detailed videos, and we've got a lot of cool stuff over there. So hope to see you there.